Today I'm going to show you how I make my salmon quesadilla. Now I'm using canned salmon for this and the, you know, you get some good omega-3s in that and all of my ingredients are very healthy and I'll be showing you what those are in just a minute. This recipe is totally customizable. So if you see things today that I'm putting in it that you're not crazy about, leave them out and swap in something else that you do like. You can do that easily with this so it never gets old and you can always be changing it up. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. Okay, so I'm gonna start off here with chef joke number one. Number two will be a little bit later. Okay, here we go. Where does a salmon go to deposit a check? To the riverbank. Okay, so let's get into the ingredients here. Now, first up is the salmon. I'm using canned salmon. If you wanna use fresh salmon, you can. It's very expensive. And the canned salmon seems to work really well in that regard. I'm using this uh, Wild Planet, Wild Pink Salmon. Now, I bought this can at the local grocery store and then found out that I could get it at Drive Market for $2 a can cheaper. So if you've never tried Thrive Market, I'm going to leave a link for you down in the description and use that and you can get a nice discount. So next up we're using Avocado Mayo by Primal Kitchen. Those two things I think are necessary for this, but this one isn't necessary. I mean, this is something I like to just throw in every once in a while depending on my mood. This is Annie's Honey Mustard. It's organic and it tastes pretty darn good. Now for the tortillas, we gotta have tortillas here. I'm using almond flour tortillas. This is a brand by Whole Foods, 365. I also sometimes buy Siete brand, which is very good. And Siete is actually a little bit larger tortilla. This is a little small, so our quesadilla today is gonna be a little bit on the smaller side, but that's okay. You can use regular tortillas, regular flour tortillas if you want, that's, that's good too. Now for my vegetables, I'm gonna use a carrot. You'll wanna peel it and then cut it into coins. Pretty much the same thing with the asparagus, although I'm not gonna peel the asparagus. We'll just chop it up into bite-sized pieces. We'll place both these vegetables in a steamer and then we'll cook them until they're fork tender. Now to the salmon, we're gonna add some chopped celery and onion. To this mix, we're gonna add some avocado mayo and some Annie's honey mustard. So just add a couple of dollops of mayo and about a tablespoon or so of mustard. And now mix that up until everything's incorporated. So I'm gonna check the veggies here and they are nice and soft so that they are done. I'm just gonna pour them into a bowl. Now it's just a matter of putting the quesadilla together. All right, I'm gonna start here with our salmon. And like I said, I'm just gonna, you know, put about half in here. You know, smooth it out, spread it out to the ends, not all the way to the end because, well, then it starts falling out. So see, I used about half. Now at this point, I usually add the veggies on top and then I do the cheese last, but you can do it any order you want and I just sprinkle them on there. Now my veggies are still just a tad bit warm, which is kind of nice because that, you know, we want everything nice and warm. And you put as much on here as you want. So I try and load it up as, you know, a fair amount. Now since my cheese is sliced, this is what I do. And feel free to use any kind of cheese you like. Cover everything with cheese and we're good to go. If you're using grated cheese, it'll be easy to spread over. Put my top on. Okay, it must be time for chef joke number two. All right, why don't salmon watch cable TV? because they prefer streams. <laughs> All right, let's take this over to the stove and cook it up. And I've got a small, a relatively small pan here. You want a pan that you have a lid for. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of olive oil in there, not too much, just a, just a little bit to coat the bottom of that pan. So now I'll bring the quesadilla over and set it into our pan. And then we'll place the lid on top and let it cook. I have it on medium heat right now. Okay, after about three or four minutes, we're gonna check this and see how it's doing. I'm gonna look at the bottom. Oh yeah, the cheese is melting. We're gonna flip that puppy over and there you go. Look at that, nice crispy golden brown. That's what you want. 
I'm gonna cook the second side. I'm gonna put the lid back on it and let that melt some more and heat up. And it's just about done. All right, here's our quesadilla, hot off the stove. Some of the stuff's oozing out, but check this out. Look at this, it's a beauty. Okay, so how I like to serve this up, I'm gonna cut this just like a pizza, and you wanna push it down on it a little bit so that you know everything doesn't gush out of the sides. So just go from the top and push down and work your way across. I like to add a few greens to this, so I'll take some arugula. Just put some on the side here, a little garnish. A little more veggies. Sprinkle a little bit of olive oil on that with a little bit of lemon juice, fresh lemon juice. From my uh, garden, actually, I have a little lemon tree. And then I like to throw in just a couple more little veggies. Since I have them here, they're here, and might as well have a few more. Uh, this looks so good, doesn't it? All right, it's time to give this a try, right? Let's see how this is. I'll tell you how it is. Mm. That is delicious. The salmon is even more mild, I think, than tuna fish. So you're gonna love this. The flavors, it's, you can taste the celery and the onions, you know, all the good stuff in there, the cheese, the veggies. It's a really delicious and healthy meal, guys. I hope you try it. And if you like salmon, you might wanna try my grilled salmon over lemon butter mashed potatoes. This is an incredibly delicious and easy recipe to make. Thank you all for watching today. If you enjoyed today's video, let me know by smashing the like button. And if you want to chat with me, leave me a comment down below, a recipe request. I'd love to hear from you. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another rockin' recipe.